Hi, this is Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri, and welcome to Balancing the Elements of Life. This is a wonderful, wonderful series that we're going to do on understanding the elements and understanding a whole section of energy medicine. Balancing the elements of life is a huge part of a lot of energy medicine modalities. We're going to be talking today about the elements and every element, the qualities of every element. And I just want to say that understanding energy medicine and energy medicine is the future of medicine. We will explore the qualities of each of the elements. Ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Energy is perpetual. You can't create it, you can't destroy it. Energy steps down. Energy goes from source to form. What did, what did uh, we say when we talk about Einstein's theory of relativity? Energy is matter and matter is energy. So we're going to explore the whole area of energy medicine. We're going to explore the biggest part of understanding energy medicine, whether it be Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, herbalism, homeopathics. All of it is based around the qualities of energy. And we're going to show you exactly how the elements manifest through the touch and the energy therapies. So we're going to start with ether. Ether's about space, ether's about stillness, ether's about openness. And the areas of ether, the colors are blue, the art is music, the chakra is the throat chakra. So one of the keys to ether is about space. And the areas that we work with on the body for energy balancing are the joints. So Letitia is going to show you some of the areas that we work on. She will be doing the TMJ joint to the shoulder joint. Now remember, ether is about self-expression also. Ether has many different qualities. So she'll move from one area to the other just to balance the joints because they are the reflexes. And notice now she's on the shoulder to the hip joint. And remember that ether is the basis of all energy work. It has, think about the concepts of wide open spaces, mountaintops, the middle of the ocean. So as she balances the joint areas, it's just a very sattvic touch. Ether is about cranial sacral therapy. Ether is about sattvic touch, balancing the areas, especially where there's space. And the joints are very, very highly correlated to the element of ether. And notice how she just progressively does very light touches around the joint area, the wrists, the ankles, all the areas that you have joint. Remember, if every element has physical, a mental, and emotional qualities. The next element is air. Now let's look at the body relationships to air. Air is about lightness and quickness, and movement in all directions. The areas are the shoulders area, that's the positive pole of air. The kidneys are the neutral pole of air. So she will make the contact first. Again, the, every element has a physical and body relationship to the elements. So now she's holding the areas of the poles of air. Directions, movement, air is about movement. So now she's making a contact on the neutral pole of air, which is, are the kidneys. And as she creates that little space there and just holds for balance, remember balancing the elements is a very key thing to health. Then she moves to the negative pole of air, which are the ankles. Shoulders, kidneys, and ankles. Every, especially the manifested elements, which are air, fire, water, and earth, they have absolute physical relationships to the body. That's what's so brilliant about understanding and balancing the elements of life. All energy medicine deals with the qualities of vibration and the qualities of energy. Now we will move to fire. The three correlations to the fire in body work are eyes. Those are the positive pole. Remember, fire is about heat. Fire is about brightness. Fire is about clarity and focus. Every single element has a different quality. And if you understand the elements, 
you have a key to understanding health and longevity of, of, of health. So basically, the next pole that we go to in fire are the, is the solar plexus area. Again, every element has a correlation physically, mentally, and emotionally. There she is balancing the solar plexus, and even when you're balancing the elements of life, even making an awareness and a contact is balancing and giving you a whole different set of, of health and quality of health. The thighs are the negative pole of fire. Eyes, the positive pole. Solar plexus, the neutral pole. And thighs, the negative pole. Fire also focuses air. Fiery intelligent. Fire is loud and surprising. Every element has qualities and it is a brilliant system. Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine, all use the elements to define the whole assessment within their science of healthcare. The next one, as we step down, notice every element steps down, air is a little more movement, fire is a very pungent and focused, and water is flowing. Water is merging, water is nurturing, making connections. Think about water, it dissolves away boundaries. Now the positive pole of water is the chest area. The neutral pole of water are the generative areas. The negative pole of water are the feet. Again, each element has body reflexes. Each element has specific colors. Fire obviously is yellow. Well, water's orange. The chakra is the sacral chakra. So notice how she's balancing the poles of each of these elements. Chest is the positive pole of water. The generative or areas are the neutral pole of water and the feet are the negative pole of water. The areas, even the body, the body systems, the lymphatic systems about water, the glands are about water, digestions about fire, and respir respirations about air. So you can see how when you understand the elements, you also understand about energy medicine. You understand about healing systems like Ayurveda and Chinese medicine. The last area and the last element is earth, very dense, very solid, structure, enduring, thick, heavy. Earth defines boundaries. The poles for earth are, the neck is the positive pole, and notice now she is contacting the neck area, and the colon is the neutral pole of earth. The knees are the negative pole of earth. Now she's balancing, bringing the energy to balance the neutral pole, which is the colon. Then she can move to the knees. The knees are the negative pole. Remember, each element has three poles. The elements are stepped down. They're stepped down qualities of energy. Energy has to move from source to form. It's all about vibration. Energy medicine is the future of medicine. It is incredible. It works at the source of where there are imbalances. Earth also, the color of earth is deep red. The chakra is the base of the spine. The emotional, remember every element has mental, physical, and emotional qualities. The emotional qualities of earth are fear and courage. Every element gives you tons of information. So basically, as we conclude this part of it, to understand that every element has a quality. And energy medicine is the future of medicine. If you understand this whole system, the oldest medicine on the earth is Ayurvedic medicine. Chinese medicine is 3,000 years old. The acupuncture system works on the different qualities of energy, how to shut them down or turn them on. Understanding, balancing the elements of life will give you an understanding of energy medicine and possibly the whole future of medicine.